Hello there, and thanks for tuning in. This is Josh with Deprived Productions, back in Unreal Engine 4 with a 25th material tutorial. Moving forward, our tutorials will be much more slow-paced and monotone to make sure that everyone is properly- No! 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 If you do it like that, you're dumb. We're gonna keep it exciting. We're gonna keep it lively, so get there with us, okay? Yeah, girl. Yeah, that ass. We're gonna talk about flip book materials. Flip book materials, bro. I'm already in this content. Go in the DP. Now, the thing about flip book materials is something real new, guys. I mean, big new. Big new. We're going to talk about flip books and sprite sheets. And you're going to need a sprite sheet. But if you have the starter content in your project, you'll have one or two. So check it out. Go in the DP, right click, and create a material. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to name it Flip, bro, because that's what's going to be called because it's because we're going to be flipping with it. It's already in the look at it. UE4 know how we do. Put it in another window. Make, make it a plane. We're going to be working with 2D stuff. What we're doing here is really cool for 2D. And make sure that with this selected, you set it to translucent. And let's get started. Now, the first thing I mentioned was a sprite sheet that you're going to need. Now, that's that's, that, that's actually really important. Go to your window. Go to your content browser. And if you're, you know, I'm already in there, of course. But in the, in the content, okay, if this is where you'll open up normally, you go to the starter content. You go to the textures. And boom, they have all kind of textures. You can hold CTRL. Scroll in and scroll and see all kind of them bad babies. Or if you're blind like me, you can be like what is that i still can't see it we're gonna scroll down and i'm gonna check boom this this bad baby right here the one i got selected over here on the left now that is a sprite sheet several different textures that are aligned tiled a certain way look a six by six they're perfect you know what i'm saying very 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 well done now we're gonna drag that bad baby in here okay but for testing to show you what's going on let's drag this tile in here you can see it's a six by six as well drag it in and let's plug it in there first now let's plug it into base color i got the tile selected here i'm gonna keep my fireballs over here. my fireballs okay get down with some some fireballs now obviously it's just there's our plane well we need to grab that flip book i've been talking to you about bro <laughs> get that flip book okay just drag her in there now the thing is you want to make sure uvs is plugged into uvs uvs into UVs. Now I'm going to control C and control V with the texture sample selected and put it up here just to look at the original image. So when this actually loads up, okay, because my PC's blowing up or something, you can see what it's done here. It's cut it into one fourth. So this triangle or this triangle, sorry, this square, but then it'll play this square, then this square, then this square. So it's going from left to right and then the next column left to right. And it's actually animating it right here. We haven't set the speed or the number of rows or columns or anything, but we can hold the number one. Hold the number one again and click and dr and drag both these numbers so you can you can you can decide how many rows of rows and how many rows of columns R rows. Okay, the thing is we're gonna set this to the number three because it's naturally set to the number two by doing a two by two grid. Well, now it's cutting it into a three by three grid and playing just these two, just these four squares and these four squares, two by two, two by two, two by two, all nine of them, and it's animating them. So you can kind of tell since it's a six by six if we'd set rows and column rows rows to six and six because we all god because we're not scared even though you know the 63 was a little frightening it's going to play one at a time and it's literally just going to go left to right down left to right down left to right, and it's going to fly through it and you're like oh no but the thing is we're going to we're going to we're going to help a little i want you to right click here and type in the word uh let's type in the word time okay and then hold the number one and grab another value like this and then maybe type in the word multiply okay now, the thing is, you could obviously just hold the letter M. Boom. You know what I'm talking about? Plug this into A. Plug this into B. Let's make a little room. Drag them back. Make it look purdy. You know, Got to stay purdy for the ladies. Now, the thing is, it's plugged in there, and this is going to be at zero. So now it's not going to work. So let's set it to one. Okay? Let's set it to one. Give us some time, whatever one is. And if I'm correct, it's going to be around the same speed. Yeah, it's booking it. We're going to go down to a point one. Okay? Now, it's going to slow it way down. Okay, so we're going to be able to see the red square, then the white square, the red square, then the white square, the pink square, the pink square, the red square. But the thing is, I don't know where it started. Oh, maybe it did do it right. I don't know. Those yellows. I see yellows. Oh, no. It's somewhere in there and I can't find it. We're about to do a couple yellows. Yeah, boom. It's down here. It's at the top again. Whatever. You see what's going on there. and It's doing it all right here. It's literally animating that. So let's get exciting. Let's go ahead and just copy or delete. You can just select them both, press the delete key and drag this baby, bad baby in there. And I'm going to go ahead and, and, and keep my copy of it so I can see what's going on. Make sure UVs is plugged into UVs. Make sure that is plugged into base collar. We're going to keep the same math here. It is a six by six grid. The, the, the fireball is there. So we can see now what it's doing. So if we, if we zoom in here, circle it around a little bit, we can see it slowly animating an explosion 
Oh, that's what I'm talking about. But it's a little too slow, so let's set it back to one because I think one's pretty good. Actually, let's do 0.9 because I think I'm a little picky. I get a little picky with it, bro. You can't be afraid to get picky. Okay, we're all a little shallow at times. Now, the thing is, it's probably going to animate. That I like that. I like that. That's however many things. And you can figure out what the duration is different ways. Now, you can continuously keep doing stuff, but that's all we're really going to do, guys. I just wanted to show you that. One more thing is I'm going to plug this into opacity now. And obviously, since the material, it, the textures themselves don't have any black in it, but the background is black, it's just going to get rid of the black. That's perfect. So now we got this little explosion. And again, think about how awesome that is for 2D. I mean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here now that it's saved, and I'm going to grab my flip material that I created in here by myself with you guys, and I'm going to drag it onto my four planes. So I can see it happening in the real world. It's happening. And I mean, of course, it's just an explosion. There's, It's missing a lot going on there. But F11, okay, we're in here. We see our four explosions there, boom. Now, what's cool about them, though, is they're flat, dude. So if you were playing like a, making like a 2D side scroll and you don't want this big 3D fire that's rotating and doing all this nonsense, think about how fast you could just, boom, have one in there. Or anything. Think about all the different things you could do with sprites and, and, and different things like that. For all y'all that are already working with this, this is a very, very quick move. For anything 2D that you need to do quickly, just maybe one time, two times, or you know, you don't need it to change often. Boom, there you go. Real quick, easy on resources. Love it. Guys, thanks for watching. Josh with the Proud Productions making all kind of flipbook actions. But yeah, for my 2D game devs, I hope you love it. It makes a lot of sense. I really enjoy it. I'm toying with it right now. Uh, if you think of any other cool things to do with flipbook, man, shoot us, shoot us up, man. Hit us up. We'll show off your videos, man. We like to show everybody what everybody's working on if we get the chance. So definitely hit me up. Be like, hey, man, check it out what we did with the flipbooks. This is amazing. I love to see it. Give me ideas. I'll give you ideas. Love you, Missy, guys. Subscribe to the Deprived Productions channel. Hit the Facebook. Hit the SoundCloud. All the links are in description, man. Follow us and like us. That's all we ask. Have a blast. Learn some cool stuff. Shoot us some cool stuff if you think of anything else cool. If you have any ideas for tutorials, we'll do our best if they are possible. I promise. But I love you. I miss you. And until next time, peace.